Yo, Adam Saxton here with Guy in the Cube. Another week, another roundup. I made it back home. I've got some awesome stuff for you this week. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dive in. Phil C. Mark is at it again with another game inside of Power BI, this time with Minesweeper. So he actually created the old Minesweeper game inside of a Power BI report. This one was a little crazy and he goes into detail about how he actually did this, all of the bookmarks that he had to create to actually accommodate the showing and hiding of items and the DAX calculation he had to create, which is the heart of the whole thing. If you're curious about how to actually do this inside of Power BI or you just want to play Minesweeper, go ahead and check out the link down in the description below to download the PBIX and have a look. Marco Russo over at SQLBI.com tweeted out an updated Power BI visual reference. This was actually posted a while ago, but they went ahead and updated it. If you're not familiar with it, this is a great reference to figure out the different chart types that are with inside of Power BI. So if you're not sure which one you necessarily wanna use in which situation, this is a great place to start to get you up to speed on what's available inside of Power BI. Check out the link down below so you can download the free PDF and get to creating awesome visuals. The folks over at PowerPivot Pro wanted to compare rows inside of Power Query. The blog post starts off with saying that this can be done inside of Excel fairly easily, but they wanted to do this inside of Power Query to make sure it's refreshable and up to date. This blog post goes through the different steps that were taken inside of Power Query to actually compare the two different rows. So it had the original row and the row right behind it to calculate changes in prices. This is an interesting blog post if you're curious about how to accomplish something like this from a Power Query side of things. And if you just wanna dive in a little deeper into Power Query itself. From a Power Query perspective, this could be done inside of Excel or Power BI. So it's not limited to just the get and transform in Excel, which is what this blog post focuses on. You can absolutely translate this into Power BI. Links as always down in the description below, along with all the links for all the items in this roundup and some bonus items. Check it out. Ted Patterson over at Critical Path Training has a great blog post on Power BI Embedded. If you're not familiar with Power BI Embedded, I really recommend you check out this blog post. It does a great job of walking through what Power BI Embedded is and what's involved in the actual embedding of reports, dashboards, tiles, all of that stuff. This is listed as a part one, so I can only imagine there's a part two coming, but this is a great way to get up to speed on Power BI Embedded if you're not really sure where to go. If you haven't made it to a Power BI World Tour, there is still time to do this. Chuck Sterling from the Power BI team talked about the fact that the Power BI team is gonna be showing off all of the new features that are coming out at the Power BI World Tour. So if you haven't seen these new features, if you want to get you know up close and personal with these, the World Tour is a great way to do that. And there are three locations still coming up. At the end of October is going to be in Seattle. In mid-November is going to be in Montreal, Canada. And at the end of November is going to be in Dallas, Texas. And as a bonus, if you want to come see me, I will be at the Dallas, Texas World Tour as well. So I hope to see you there. Be sure to sign up and check out all the great stuff that's coming. All right, I want to pass it off to you. What was your favorite item? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. Or if there was an item I missed that you thought was awesome, leave that down below too. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.